Okay, so having talked about art direction and developing an aesthetic and doing sound direction, let's now get into the practical aspect of this, which is uh, creating a mood board. So let's make a mood board. What is a mood board? <laughs> this is from The Art of Game Design by Jesse Schell. Uh, we're talking about an arrangement of images, materials, pieces of text, etc. intended to evoke a pro or project a particular style or concept. So even if you're not an artist, you can show this document, or collage if you want to call it, to somebody outside your team and say, this is the vision uh, for what we have for what the game will look like. You could, in a very early um, version of what you're doing, you could use your mood board in something like a pitch document. So being able to communicate your vision helps with uh, funding pitches, Kickstarter campaigns, growing your audience, and hiring or collaborating with artists. So if you've ever yourself backed a Kickstarter or um, a Patreon or viewed a pitch, you'll notice that often the most successful pitches are very visual. People really like to be able to imagine what the game will look like and showing inspirations is putting your best foot forward. So if you're collaborating with or hiring an artist, you really need to be able to give um, what's called a brief, an explanation of what the game is and what they'll be creating, and a mood board can help with that even if it means that they make their own afterwards and they change the concept or in discussion, you decide to change the concept collaboratively, um, having some starting place is still gonna help them. And this goes double for sound and music. So being able to communicate sound and music is also memorable and really helpful for composers and sound designers, as well as audiences. So some of the tools that you can use include Tumblr, Pinterest, a Drive or Dropbox folder, um, Miro, a mind map tool of your, toy, of your choice. So for this assignment, you're just going to send me a link to whatever you're using. Um, probably it's going to be outside the document itself. This is going to be existing in some other space. A lot of people used a, like a Google Drive, especially if they're writing a Google Doc already. Um, you could also make a slideshow. Like you could make a PowerPoint or a, or a, you know, Google slide slideshow, if that makes sense for you. Um, but really this is just supposed to be a repository. So it doesn't really have to be like presented in any sort of way. It just has to be like a list of images. So let's look at a case study. Uh, we're going to look at a game called Super Crush KO, which came out uh, a couple of years ago on Switch and uh, was also developed in Toronto. So um, reading this tweet from Gabby DeRienzo, who is the art director on Super Crush KO, she said, just found this art, uh, old art board for Super Crush KO. If you're having trouble finding inspiration for your game's art direction, I highly recommend looking at inspo outside of video games. So much of this had a huge effect on SCKO's art. And to look at that up close, this is um, what her art board or her mood board looked like. So you're going to see a lot of color palette inspiration. You see a lot of that pastel uh, pink yellow sunset colors um it was japanese inspired so they had like cherry blossoms and streets from tokyo street wear like fashion was part of it a little bit of drag fashion a little bit of sailor moon um and it looks like she also was grabbing from some architecture some uh game covers pottery even and like brand brand design so that's all like some places that you can look You'll notice that very little of this is actually from a game. I think there's just one image here. That's from an, um, you know, and it's a, it's game art. It's not even like, you know, a screenshot itself. All right. And as for sound design, I got this uh, quote from Robbie. I asked him, he's the sound director uh, and composer for Super Crush KO. Talked to him a little bit on Slack and he said, we look at tracks like that and analyze a bit. I like how the bass line sounds in one song, but the drums from another and how the melody is catchy in a third one. We sort of balance between or bounce between styles too. Is the direction inspired by cartoons, arcade games, realism? Establishing a style and voice pretty early on is important. And then I have a link here to the uh, Super Crush KO playlist. Um, so give this, give the cup, first couple tracks of this a listen and see what you think. It's uh, pretty poppy, lots of Japanese like anime inspired stuff, but also some jazz um, and uh, in like a couple of other styles in here. So you can like listen to this, give it a little bit of a listen and see what inspirations you can identify. And then finally we have the trailer for Super Crush KO. So...
did the game look and sound like you expected given the mood board and playlist? Um, I'm going to guess that it did. At least the colors do, right? But I think there's a lot of the other inspirations in there as well. So if you need another example, uh, the link here is a blog post from Lunar Flux by Chloe Fleetwood describing how they put together their mood board. Um, and uh, in class, I may show you some further examples as well. So for your mood board, for your GDD, what I would like to see is at least 10 images or other inspirations, movies, poems, text snippets, etc. cast a wide net. Um, and only 30% of your images or fewer should be from other games. So if you're making 10 images, three of them can be from games, the rest of them should be from other inspirations. My stuff was a lot of nature photos, images of Hexel's art, low poly animals, jewelry, statues, fun rocks, plus some movies and TV shows and some games. Um, you saw that, that Gabby's, for example, was a lot of like street art, fashion, uh, some illustration, just like, you know, aesthetic photos and that sort of thing. So there's, um, there's a lot that you can look at for this. And I want to see inspirations from like a wide variety of places, not all from one source. And you're going to make a playlist. So you're going to make a, a link to a short playlist of songs that capture how you'd want the music to feel. So that's three or four songs, unless you have more ideas than that. But three is kind of the minimum. This can be from games or from other media. And you can give me the link via YouTube or Spotify or 8Tracks or, you know, any other like outside service that is able to make playlists. Um, or if you need to, you could upload them to Google Drive and uh, link them to me that way. And then for sounds, I want links to um, two or three links to video clips or sound effects if you can isolate them. But it's probably going to be easiest for you to find video clips on YouTube from films or games that have sound effects that you would include specifically in your core mechanic. So how does your core mechanic sound? That's what I want to hear. Um, and you can give me a couple of different examples. If you are linking to a longer video, like a piece of a movie or something like that, then I need a timestamp that tells me um, like what part I should be uh, watching to hear the sound that you're talking about. And then you're also going to describe it a little bit. So this would be really helpful for whoever's working on your sound down the line. 